Hello there guys, my name is Adrian Brenner, welcome to episode 12 of my Feed the Beast Unleash Let's Play. Okay, so what are we going to do today? Well first I want to start on some sand generation. <laughs> well, it's going to be managed sand generation. And what I'm going to do is set up something so it says, if there's a thousand sand, turn off. If there's this, turn off. If there's this, turn off. But I want to show you a couple of other things. I'm going to have to go to the skeleton farm because every time I log in, it just turns on. Even though it's turned off. So let's go over here. And yes, uh, one of the comments are right. These do only take 18 endings. Um, but I keep having this bug where these, just these two on the top engines um, basically turn off. So what I have to do is I come on, I turn them off for a few seconds and then I turn them back on. Also on these back two as well. And you'll see they start working straight away. So I'll flick them, wait till they've all stopped, and then I turn them back on. And then that should fix the problem. Okay, let's just go turn the skeleton farm on. And I'll show you what I've been doing. Wow, that's loud. Uh, and someone said the sound was very loud when the sound was down. So what I've done, so I can uh, fix that is I've disabled the sounds for the steam engine, just go into Railcraft and you can disable the sound. Okay, so here I have another thing that I've built. I think here saying cow farm, you can have a sheep farm, you can have plenty of things and they're all going to probably fuel um, this uh, mob essence, which gets used over time. And then here, let me just turn the sound down again. Uh, about, about 4%, 5% should do it. Here is what I call my squid farm. Now it isn't on at the moment because it's level emitted. Meaning by level emitted, the level emitter basically says if there's a thousand insects in the system, turn me off. So it'll turn the mob spawner off. So what I've got here is an auto mob, uh, auto spawner. So you can see here, so I can stand on here. Auto mob spawner with a squid net, with a safari net. And here some power, and here some uh, liquid mob essence. Now, if I think of that pro properly, I should have probably just brought a liquid up, but they work and they do the job. Now, if you didn't know this, the uh, glass viewer, you don't have to break it with a pick, you can break it with your hands, and it's all, it's awesome. So, yeah, that's that there. Um, I've just stored um, some pink uh, slime here. Oh, and here we have where we're going to go, in, where we're gonna go into the slime portal. Uh, not slime portal, sorry, we're going to go into the twilight. Here I have an uh, uh, ender, ender chest. Uh, with the bike, so I can now, if I don't want that in my system, and then I look back, it should, when it lets me open up again, disappear. Okay, so today we're going to work on a couple of things. I want to work on generating obsidian. What was it now? It was, if Mr. Sweeter, I've got five, so it was obsidian, sand, and cobblestone, uh, and stone. What are these two different things? That looks like a Powered furnace. Yeah. So sand, uh, obsidian, stone, and cobblestone. I really don't understand why I have five of them though. I probably wanted to do something else. I think I wanted to do glass. Um, yes, I did. I did. So we're going to go on to start setting these up. And by the end of the episode, we will get that laser one done as well. So do we have cables? Yes, we have cables. We have import buzzies. Uh, yeah, import buzzies level emitters and the first one we're probably going to work on is the the sand um, pr pretty much the easiest one so sand is very easy uh, let me just go and grab a bucket of water thank you go away please there we go and bucket okay so we've got one bucket here and you can see also I've added this end here so you can see I've got my ender chest input my this is why I put the clear glass here. My bone meal input, so slow that's slowly all going into there. So let's put this clear glass back, put the bucket back, and in one of these I should label access. Which one was it? There we go. So we need a bucket of water. I'm gonna probably have to come down a couple of times to do that, but it doesn't matter so far. So right, let's get back up here. So one of the things I want to do is get these guys working for now. So we're gonna need a, what's this here? Let's just clear our bar a minute. We need a pulverizer and an ignis extruder for the sand, okay? Now that's also gonna give us gravel as well. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to have our pulverizer. Uh, so that's going to be the output. It's going to be powered from underneath. Yep. It's going to be powered from underneath. Uh, then it's going to have its output at the side of it. Where are we going to put them? I'm going to compact them as much as I can. So pulverize it and then ignite extruder. So we've got to change some of these outputs. Why have I just thrown a load of lava emitters on the floor? I do not know. So output is at the bottom. Uh, okay, so the inputs are at the sides. So for this guy, we can put water. And then I'm going to grab an inner tank. I've made four. Probably didn't need four, but I've made four. And the good thing with these is you can actually use them as a light source. Um, so if you want to be fancy, you can hide them away and stuff. Okay, so we're going to have... This one is going to generate a cobblestone. Uh, then it's going to get pulverized into its input slot, which is at the top. And then its output slot, so we'll just turn these off for now, is its side slot, which is going to be shared. The do I have? No. Well, of course I don't. I'm actually going to put an access terminal up here. I'm going to have an access terminal on each floor. Um, just because it's easier. Okay, so what we're going to have here, uh, what do we want? We wanted, dang it, what do we want? Oh yeah, uh, redstone conduits. Okay, so I've got 81 in here, we're good for them. So this is going to power this guy. Then we also need a level emitter, which, where can I put that? We could probably, uh, can this be redstone controlled? Yes. Okay, so... We can put that there. So that's going to receive power and that's going to do that. Okay. Then we can have a precision import on the side, right? So for now, I'm going to just run it here like that, yeah? And then we can have a level emitter. And then if we just move this around, we can have it on, onto that, right? So what we're going to do is when this gets some sand, shift some, shift some of this out quick. Dang it, I missed it. Okay, so we've got some sand. Why do I have two pulverizers? What was that for? I keep forgetting what I was, was going to do. Okay, so here we're going to put a piece of sand in here, right? And it's going to say emit when levels are above, right? So we're going to say, when you're above 1,024 of these, you're then going to turn off. Yeah. So then, another system we're going to do as well, which is quite cool actually. We're going to have, a, no, I need a precision. I hope if I don't have them, I'll craft them off screen because they can be generally annoying. Um... Uh, no, we want export, don't we? Didn't get them ready? I thought I did. Uh, how do we do the um, uh, export again? Because I might have some of these. So this is just this is just some item management at the moment. I don't want too much of things. Okay, so basic. Uh, have one of these. One, two. Uh, do we do we need redstone? No. Piston. Okay, piston. Uh, and then one of these, okay. So let's do this inside the system. And then bam, no. This one, bam. Okay, so precision, no, it's export bus for the sand, right, okay. Uh, yep, then we're going to need that, 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 there we go. Okay, so now we're going to need a powered furnace. Uh, there we go, powered furnace. Where we're going to output to uh, power furnace, and then we're going to need power. Obviously, I could put it here, and then wrap over machine. Maybe uh, no, no, we can't. So what I'm going to do instead of having this over here like this, I'm going to just connect over the top of this until we get facades, and then when we get facades, we can clean up. I'm just breaking these very carefully for now. Okay, so we're going to have our powered finish here. Okay. 
and then that's going to receive power and it's going to mm, this is tight it's going to input from this side what basic export basic export oh, okay didn't make two two of them already and then it's going to output um dang we'll have to move this ever so slightly uh where are we going to put this can't figure it out put it there maybe with the power going in the back so it all looks a bit ugly at the moment but it'll be be nicer in the future okay so we're going to want our exports no imports and then our yeah that there and then that there and we're going to connect up here to there and then we're going to loop to there and then what we're going to see here uh, can we do it this way or, do, or should we do it a more complicated way mm. I'm thinking we can have a tiered system change this up so it actually works different okay oh actually no that's still going to need to go there isn't it so I just wanted to do some of this uh, I like I like the automating with this so it's going to need pulverizer be better there wouldn't it oh dang I keep changing my mind you guys are probably going to get annoyed of me already Okay, so we're going to go here, and then we're going to go here, and we're going to put a redstone thing there, and then we're going to have non access accumulator, we're going to have a power furnace, then we're going to have a pulverizer, then we're going to have a ignis extruder, and you probably know what I'm going to do. So, dang it, I need water again. Uh, we're going to have a bucket of lava in there, and let's go get some water. We'll get a jetpack eventually. Uh, dang it. Okay, and we're going to go back up here. There we go. And then we're going to put some water in here. Okay. So that's going to generate cobblestone. Oh, I didn't really think about how this is going to be powered, did I? Oh, I, oh, I can. I can. I can. I can. I know what to do. I know what to do. Uh, maybe. Maybe do it this way. I can. Power from the side. What? Uh. Oh my god, this is a roundabout. But when I have facades, it's going to be a lot easier to move and replace and do stuff with these because I'm going to have them set up and I'll know how to set them up straight away. So these are like, these are just for now. So it's going to output on the bottom. Okay, and then it's going to have some memory cable. Like I say, they're messy for now, but I am going to make sure they're perfect in the future. Okay, one of them. So that's getting power, that's getting power. This is going to output to its bottom. Well, it should be. Right, yeah, yeah, that's right. And then this is going to receive input from the top. Actually, what we're going to do with the sand, uh, the gravel, actually. Then that's going to output its bottom. And then this one here, we're not going to do anything with. <laughs> we're just going to leave it there. I can't really, I mean, I could have done it another way. Okay, so then the A system is going to turn this off. And I know it's going to have wires everywhere, uh, but I really can't change anything until I get the facade, because I can facade through that wall and wrap it around, and it no one will even notice. And that level emitter will be behind this machine and you won't even be able to see it. 
So yeah, for now, it's working. Okay, so when this gets glass, okay, I got XP from it. When this hits a, yeah, we're gonna do a thousand again. Thousand to twenty-four, it's gonna emit a level, right? So this is still gonna go until it gets so much sand, right? So on the next one, we're gonna want is a stone gem. I just try and think how I can do it. Can I do it here? I might be able to do it here. So let's just um do that and then we're gonna need a ignis extruder. No, just an ignis extruder actually, yeah. So that's gonna be easy to do. This is gonna sit there. Then it's gonna have a Ah yeah, this is the one I can do. Uh no, this is stone, isn't it? Stone takes water. Ah, this is the one I'm gonna have to do different. Okay, now I am going to have to do this really different now. So I'm probably going to have to go get some... Let me... I can't, I can't fall in the hole. Right. Let me just go get some water um, and figure out I'm going to do this properly. Uh, yeah. Let me just move that for now. And I connect this system back up. And I realise it's really ugly, guys. Uh, but I am going to... When I make that, I'm going to get the facade and I'm just going to do it all and then I'm going to show you after. Right, let me go and get some things ready and plan out this a little bit and then we'll, then we'll be back. Okay guys, we're back. I've now set up a little tank, the smallest tank you can get, with water. Uh, that's going to be used to generate stone and obsidian. So let's go back and get the stone done. And the reason I'm doing smooth stone is basically because I know I could do it with cobble and stuff like that, but I'm doing it this way because I want it to be controlled. I want to say, you know, I want a thousand in at all times. Right? So we've got this going here, right? And when I put this tesseract here, it's going to output. Hang on, I'm going to turn the output off at the bottom. Alright? This is going to input at the top, right? So we're going to change this input. I'm going to turn that off as well. And then we're going to put this to water out. Right, that should work. Hopefully. Okay, it's on water out. And it's on stone. Do I have to give it an output before it does it? Cobble, stone. Are you doing anything? Oh, I think I might know what's up. Uh, I want you to deset. Okay, ignore that, ignore that. And then I want this stone. Okay, so we've got stone. Now we can say to this guy here, when you have a thousand and twenty-four again, emit. Okay, emit one levels are below. Okay, so now I can say to you, you know, use this signal. Okay, so now here I'm going to set the output to the bottom precision attacks time this is the output right why is it not coming out Output at the bottom. Ah, that's why. Right, that's why. Right. Dip, dip. That should be like that. So now that should take it. Yes. Okay, that takes it. So I can. And this generates another one. Ah, missed it. Missed it. Missed it. Let's see if we can do it. Boom. Ah, I just missed it. Okay. Now we're going to work on the lava one, which should be easy to set up as well. So. Gonna do it exactly the same as this guy. So we're gonna want our ender tank. Actually, I could I could use one. I could just use one. Okay, so now I'm gonna do ignis extruder. Uh, then we're gonna need level emitter. Then we're gonna need import, and then I think we're done. Okay, so we're gonna have it. Gonna have it here, 
and then we're going to just take out the bottom. Like I say, it's going to be a lot cleaner when I have everything else in here. Uh, this here, we're going to come underneath, and then this is going to be the import. So we're going to move that on it to its top side like that. Okay, so that's... Oh, dang it, you moved again. Okay, like that. So that's now going to take from there. And then we're going to do a another liquid test rack on the top with water out. Okay. And that's going to have an input from the top. So that's working now. Oh, I don't want that. I want this. So obsidian, right? So when this generates a piece of obsidian, okay, now we're going to put a piece of lot, not a piece of lava, a a level emitter on the side and then we're going to put an ME cable here to manage that right now we're going to say when you have I don't know uh, 512 you uh, emit emit when levels are below oh emit when levels are above the limit so as soon as it hits that limit it's going to turn this off when it hits the limit for the stone it's going to turn it off when it hits the level of here for what is it glass do i have that right why why are you no work do i have the output right no i don't and then we're going to connect this up again and then this is going to this is going to pull straight away. Okay, so now we have automatic obsidian, automatic smooth stone, automatic cobble. Did I do the cobble one? So sand, uh, cobblestone, stone, and what? Obsidian. So now I'm going to do... Oh, this is good. This could get the back, could not it? Yeah, let's make it even neater. This could go at the back of here. Uh, and then an ME cable. And then this is going to be... Okay, that's pre-configured. Okay, that's done. Um, then we're going here. We're going to have a... We could just... Could we just put machines? No. We're going to have a cobble one here. So it's going to need water. Then it's going to need... Where's the outer tank? Do, do, do. And here, and here it's going to have lava. Okay, now that's going to generate cobblestone. And that never need any more cobble or any more water. Okay, so then here, we're going to put this here. Eh, no. This, two, this, it. Okay, that's going to import to the system and then it's going to take stacks and then we're going to have the level emitter on the side yes on the side I love level emitters I'm going to control everything with level emitters so here we're going to ha ah, here okay ignore it and then this here we're going to say when levels are, we don't really need cover for much, so when levels are over 256 emitter signal, then that's job done. So, we got now automatic cobble, automatic obsidian, automatic stone, automatic glass, and automatic sand. That's what I call a job well done. These... Mm, not too happy with the glass one that's about it but remember all this AE system is going to be so much nicer when I get the facades they're going to make everything look cool so let's just put our white force brick back in now this is the reason I did it with two now the only problem here is the redstone energy conduit I don't think you can cover that all which I don't like I wish that the way I could cover it up I mean, I know you can use, I think it's covers. Uh, is it cover or panel? C 
cover. Uh, but it's not. There's no white force brick covers. I mean, maybe we could do a wall cover. Uh, but that's about that's about it. I can only do a wall cover. So I'm gonna pause for a bit, and I'm gonna get the things smelted up ready for this guy. And then we'll be back when we set this guy up and start working on some of these facades. So I'm going to need about, uh, probably about a stack of this stuff here. Uh, I'm going to get a couple of stacks of each type of ones I'm going to use. So I'm going to use black and I'm going to use white. So I'll be back in a minute when we're ready to put the laser in. See you in a sec. Okay guys, I thought I'd show you this bit. I basically only had to craft the diamond gear. So there's one assembly table and then we're going to craft... Six lasers, one, two, three, four, six of them. Okay, and now I'm going to want to get some cobble. So like this, a piece of glass, like so. And I'm going to create 64. Uh, I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to want granny gravel. Gravel. With them, make this cobblestone structure pipe, okay? Then, do I have force bricks? I've got a stack of them. I ain't got many black. Um, so, here, I, I think I can do it in exact with these. How do you do it now? I forgot how you do make these now. Black, black force brick. Oh, okay. Okay, I know how to do it now. So, we need these in the middle. And then these around. Okay, so there's a stack of them. That's why I did that ink sack farm. So let's go back up now and start on this, what is it called? Assembly table. So now we're going to take these placement markers down. Remember we did this last episode. There we go. And then we're going to put our laser thing here. And I think we may need a chest so let's go grab, grab a chest yeah chest time chest uh, we'll do a diamond just because it looks fancy and um, plus we've got loads of resources anyway and this world hasn't even started this is just like the itsy bitsy automation trust me okay so now we're gonna have this here okay and Say if we put these in and these, okay, we can do them. So we're going to say make make facade black force bricks. Can these work? Oh baby, lasers, lasers. That is awesome. That is so awesome. And then that's going to make a bunch of them, a bunch of them. So energy required is eight thousand per six of these so i'm gonna make probably where, where did it go where did it where did it oh it just pops them out does it i'm gonna make probably as many as i can of these it's gonna make a lot and then i'm gonna make as many as kind of the white ones and i think the only things i'm gonna need is these cobblestone structure pipes so this is the one that makes gravel so this is gonna make gravel as well so I could on here say when you have a thousand gravel, turn off. But for now, I think we're pretty much okay. So you've got these black force, which is the ones I'm going to use. So here I can cover. Oh, baby, this is awesome. I can cover, 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 cover. Oh, how do you? I hear you. Shift right click to pull off, okay. Cover, cover. And then here, it's going to go behind the wall. And then it's going to come in behind here so I can cover. Oh, that's that's kind of... Oh, oh, let me out. And then here, uh, yeah, I can cover behind. And this is going to look really nice. Uh, here, I can't really do much, so it's going to be like this. It's just going to look like a block. That is awesome. Here, I can cover. I think I can c cover like that as well. That is cool. 
but I can cover. Uh, and then no, I don't want that. I want to get it there, and then I can cover like that as well. And that's just to me, that's just a game breaker because I can do so much more now, and I can make it so much like neater. Can I? Okay, so it takes off the thing. And I've got you get used to placing these yet, so I think if I hit that there. Dang it! They're really hard to pull off though. How am I gonna. Hang on, let's move this. And then place the facade on top. And then. I can do that, but I'm not going to have them shown over the machines. So imagine it like this, but all covered. And I could actually, I think I might actually redo most of these and push them back as much as I can because I won't need to have the access here. It'll all be in the outside wall. Or I might have them two blocks out because I think it does look kind of nice. Right, guys, I'm going to get doing this, covering it all up, and I'm going to see what you think after. And then I think... I'm going to check the video length, and if we have enough time, I think I'm going to work on that wisp farm, guys. I really do think I'm going to work on that. So let me come back in a minute when I cleared all this up, and then I'll see what you think. But if you'd recommend another, another facade and they'll use force bricks, let me know. And then maybe what we can do is we can have one side yellow force, one side black, I don't know, something interchangeable. Let me know, guys. Be back in a sec when i got all these done. And uh, yeah, hope you're having fun, because I know I am. I'll see you in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, I've covered up everything I can possible, except from here. Um, there's no way I can, uh, there's n literally no other way I can hide it. The only way I can hide it is by putting a tesseract here, and then covering that there. But, I don't know. It's either I have it like this with the slabs on, or like, this i suppose it's not too bad but uh, it's just a bit of an eyesore seems that everything else is like pretty much perfect except from here which i haven't done yet um but yeah everything everywhere else is pretty much fine it's perfect now um it's all covered up it's all nice oh and i want to talk about uh my plans oh shoot my plans for next episode. Uh, next episode, I'm thinking of doing another animal farm, um, sheep farm, which is going to concentrate on... Uh, I might do it a big way, where I have a rancher for each different type of uh, wool. Uh, but that'll take me quite a bit. Um, oh, I need something to stand on. Uh, that'll take me quite a bit to do. Uh, there's also another possibility of just doing it no normal and then dyeing the wool if I want coloured wool or going full, full out and doing the full job. I'm not sure which path I'm going to go um, just yet to be honest um, but I'm definitely, definitely am thinking of going, um, instead of going the simple way, going the complicated way and doing all, all types of wool. Um, Generally, I think it'll be um, a lot better when it's done that way. Uh, can this go off now? Okay. Yep. Perfect. So now I can cover up this. And then I just need two more white bricks, and then we're done. Okay. So there we go. Two of these, two of these, two of these. And then up. Oh, let me know uh, if any farms or anything like that or anything you think I could automate pretty well or get materials from, something like that. Because I'll, I, where did all them four spreads go? Uh, they probably went back into the AE system, didn't they? Okay. Um, but generally, everything's going pretty well with this world so far. I'm really, really enjoying um, the progress of the world. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the progress now. I'm seeing where it's going, and the world's going really good so far. Uh, I don't know if I have that covered up or not. I'm, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna, I'm going to 
Will you come off? I meant to. No, I'm just gonna cover it. <laughs> um, these. I mean, I could do this and then that, but I think it looks too obtrusive. Um, I think it's just too much. There's too much facades then. Um, so do that and then that'll just so you shift right click to move them. This thing is awesome because in the future there's going to be ways of doing a lot more things with pipes and everything like that. At the moment I'm looking at uh, how someone's done a, um, I think it's some sh is it something MFFS, uh, the force field mod. Um, you can actually do quarries with it. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in that because there's things that I can't get from here that I want from there, so that's why I'm trying to do the sand, you know, the cobble, the dirt and stuff like that. I can make clay with minium stones and things like that, but I'm also thinking of, uh, I don't know if anyone's ever seen my diamond farm, of using some of these ignis extruders, um, and making materials from cobblestone in the future with its separate AE network, but that might go, th that might d be d do something when we hardly have anything left. So, the ideas for next episode, um, are a waste farm, um, just for the point of it, just just because we can. Uh, a sheep farm for the wool, um, if we ever need it, then we got it. A squid farm's done. Uh, there's quite a lot of things that probably need to be done. Um, I'm thinking this time, you see over that area there, I might end up stretching out along here and getting a f getting a filler or something and make it all flat. Um, I'm thinking of going with uh, this time. Uh, like I went with mine factory loaded last time, I think what I'm going to do this time is have the farms do spruce. So I'll have one for, one for spruce, one for oak, one for birch, one for jungle, uh, and a couple of other types. And then what we could do is we could just level them at them so they're not running all the time. And then that's the problem. When you have a world, um, like generally now, I'm probably just locked on, yeah, just under 30. Um, it's not too bad. It's better than conquering grad tech. Um, it's just the fact of when you get a load of machines in a world, they generally start to suck. Uh, <laughs> they don't. They, they just start lagging, and and you really can't do nothing much more than you know try and help help out the lag a little bit in the world. Um, you know by not having too much things going. I think these steam boilers um, could have been a less obstructive. You know less less things going on with it, less engines. Um, the way we could do that is just by putting power converters uh, on these, on this. So steam goes straight into uh, Liquidux at the back of these machines, back of these boilers, drops down underground, comes to a junction where it powers that, powers that, powers that, powers that. So one could power this, one could power that, and then vice versa for each. But for the moment, I like these. I turn the animations off, uh, but they seem to be working pretty well. Like I say, had to reduce the amount of st the steam engines. I thought they required 36, but no, it's not. I think it's 18, uh, but it's working pretty well. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it off today because I'm generally doing a lot, a lot of long episodes, and I think I'm going to try to try and get them as small as possible, but fit, you know, quite a bit in. Um, so that's going to be something new I'm going to try out. If not, let me know what times you think, uh, what would be, be right uh, for this world, um, or for this Let's Play. And uh, yeah, let me know, just let me know how the world's going. Let me know what you think of the LP, think it's good enough, uh, how I could get better. Always looking away into improves, guys, guys, and I really appreciate the views um, and the feedback. Feedback is key. Uh, but yeah, maybe next uh, episode we'll get tackle these wisps and um, because they generally are a pain in the ass they're always spawn there and you can see they are going to kick me out yeah so they, they generally are a pain and uh, yeah i think maybe you know i'm covering the actual oh my god the actual um, dungeon would be really nice as well and just have it covered very glass viewers on the side so you can see the wisp down there like that. And it's going to be really cool. But we did, what I'm going to do, actually, just before we end it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to oh, uncover the whole thing of dirt and let's just have a look how it, how it looks and have a look if we can see how we're going to make the rest of it look really cool. So I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, guys, so I've kind of uncovered it and put some clear glass in just so we can see inside. 
And I kind of like the look. Um, maybe a little bit of mossy along here or something. Would look nice. Um, yeah, I kind of, I kind of like it. This is the this mossy. This is the original, the original shape of the dungeon. Um, but I think I think I am gonna take on the take take on. I'm gonna call it a challenge, and take it on and see how these guys are spawning. Cause much pop a hole in the top actually. You can see here as well. Um, I'm going to top. And I just remove these two blocks. Actually. This. So we kind of spawn in that area. You can see there's quite a lot of these wisps. So I think where the ladders are from that stock upwards, we should have some type of chamber. Because I don't generally know if they spawn outside that chamber. I think in the middle there, if you imagine an ornate, I think that's where these guys are spawning. So yeah. With me being here, you know, around around here, these are always spawning, they're kind of a pain in my ass. So, I think, next episode, we're going to tackle these guys and get them out of the way. Uh, and also, I think, if we have enough time as well, it didn't take too long to do this, uh, then I think I'm going to do the sheep farms. And I think I spotted a, li a nice little location. But let me just go run up, run up the top of the tower. And have a look up there. And I, I do need to get an advanced nano and all that stuff. But at the moment I'm enjoying not using the jetpack. It kind of makes it the game really, really easy when you need to have a jetpack. It's kind of nice not having to use one. So we have a farm here, farm here, farm here. I'm thinking of doing some like compact sheep farms in this area here. Or like here along the side. Uh, and then just put a pathway into it like I normally do. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be nice with a uh, path going down now, trying to s transition the white into a cobble slash mossy look. Anyway guys, I think I'm going to leave it off for this today. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. See you later guys.